Hi, this is Glenda from TechMamba.com and we are reviewing the Buckshot, which is uh, by Komodo. It is for the Wii and this is basically a shotgun. As you can see, it is very, very attractive looking, very nicely packaged, slick and cool. So this is uh, one alternative for the Zapper, which obviously is not as good looking as this, this product here. Um, so we'll begin by unwrapping this. As you can see, it has some, it's pretty sturdy looking and it has some rubber grips and indeed it looks really cool. So I will begin by opening the compartment whereby we have to put the Wii controller. Oh my. It's this slotch is creating some havoc here. So I think it's better for me to take it off, so I'll be back with that. So I finally managed to take out the wrist strap and this is gonna make it much easier to put the controller in. And this is the buttons to secure it, basically to lock it down. So as you can see, the reload button is underneath, just like a regular gun. And the trigger is basically like a regular gun. Um, the advantage of this product is that the nunchuck is integrated. The controls are here and there's a Z and C button. However, the disadvantage of it is it is not independent from the gun, which means that if you have games that require your nunchucks to be used independently, it just doesn't work. Uh, if you need to use your nunchucks independently, you can't be swirling your shotgun around because probably your aim is going to be pretty much sucky. So this is one of the features that can be a problem and can be also an advantage in this case. It's just integrated. If you compare it with the Wii Zapper, which has the disadvantage in terms of its looks, and it's, uh, it is pretty much not very slick looking. However, everything is easily accessible. You can take away your nunchucks and you have access to your buttons and your controls other than the A button because in this um, product, the A button is basically the only one that is being used. The other controls are just not accessible. You'd have to open it up and then basically try to control something, which most likely you're gonna have the door slammed on your finger at some point. So it's not very functional. Um, but in the, in the matter that you have the funds to buy this product just for one use, and uh, you might as well get it because it, it, looks, it just looks hot. And uh, if you are looking for a product that's more multi-use, then the Wii Zapper is, uh, is better for your case. And uh, just keep in mind that this shotgun is $40 currently. It is not the cheapest thing, but it looks pretty sturdy. And uh, so this is one thing that uh, if budget is on your mind. So now we're gonna proceed by trying it out. So we are in the game, about to be in the game to play. And uh, more connects. 
So we're just going to do a quick demo. Keep in mind that the uh, the reload on the gun is actually not the reload in the game. It's a little bit heavy though, this gun, so I'm like holding out like this. Let's get out of here. Yeah. So to pick up, I have to basically use the reload, which is weird. By trying out the buckshot, uh, it is very sturdy, very nice, however heavy in terms of uh, maneuverability to uh, shoot. And uh, unfortunately, when we tried with uh, Resident Evil, the Dark Side Chronicles, the reload button is actually waving the gun. It's not the actual reload on the gun. So this can get confusing for the player because naturally when you reload something, you just reload it on the gun, like by pushing it back and forth, but not by waving your gun. And uh, it can give you a little bit of an exercise when it comes to uh, playing for a long time because it is heavy. From all the games that we've actually tried, uh, unfortunately, uh, most of them, the reload button is not actually the A button. So this actually makes a lot of confusion. There's a Ghost Squad, House of Dead 2 and 3 return. There's a Resident Evil, Dark Side Chronicles, and Target Terror. But there is one game that the reload button is very functional and it is natural and it is Call of Duty World of at War. So for functionality, this, uh, the buckshot is not really functional. It's very catered towards specific games. So if you want to get the buckshot and you want to make sure that uh, the reload button is the A, you actually have to go try to find one game that it is the A button is a reload. Uh, so if uh, it is a cool toy, if it is uh, for you a cool toy to, uh, to actually play with, then it is worth it. But overall, I would say that in terms of functionality, when I'm looking to play for in a game, it's functionality. If I can reach the buttons, and if uh, reaching the buttons is a problem, well, uh, I'm obviously not going to be happy that I, um, I can't reach the buttons to kill the monsters that I have to do or whatever mission I have to accomplish. And instead of I'm dying, but playing with a cool gun and actually getting slaughtered. That's the way of thinking. So that is our review for the Buckshot. And I am Glenda from techmamba.com. So don't forget to check out our reviews. And have a nice one. The winner for the zone is Silver Spy. Please respond to the private YouTube message and we'll get the console to you. We can't give away the Buckshot for the Wii, but we do have a cool blue Wii remote with a Wii Motion Plus. Just post in the comment below about this week's episode and don't forget, you must be a subscriber in order to win. Got that? 1. Subscribe. 2. Comment below about this week's episode. And of course, don't forget to like the video as well. Have a nice one.